it's me, Zara, and I'll be reading you Sparky by Jenny Offill and Chris Applehands. At that, it says, it was two days before I saw Sparky awake. Inside it says, Sparky is a sloth, a pet sloth. And sloths don't know how to fetch or roll over, but they sure know how to play dead. What's an eager pet owner to do? Sparky. And as you can see in this picture, there's a little sign that the girl, little girl made amazing sloth show, even though Sparky's not that amazing. I wanted a pet. And as you can see, the girl in this picture is so cute. A bird or a bunny or a trained seal. A bird that can sing, a bunny that can just stay with the statue, and a seal that's trained. My mother said no to the bird, no to the bunny, no, no, no to the trained seal, like my mom always does. Asked her every day for a month until she finally said, You can have any pet you want as long as it doesn't need to be walked or bathed or fed. I made her a promise. Then I went to see the school librarian, Mrs. Kinklebaum, who knows everything in the world. Like library, I know librarians know everything in the world pointed to me to volume S of the Animal Encyclopedia. This is what I found. Sloth. Sloth. Sloths have been known to sleep more than 16 hours a day. They sometimes hang upside down in trees, barely moving for long periods of time. They survive by eating leaves and drinking the dew that collects in them. He, it is said that sloths are the laziest animals in the world. And there are 24 hours in a day, so out of the 24 hours, sloth sleeps 16 hours a day. So that's very interesting. My sloth arrived by express mail, which animals actually don't come, but it is the He was about the size of a mediumish dog with a flat nose and a monkey face. There he is. My mother wasn't happy, but a promise is a promise, I said. Sparky, I decided. That will be your name. I took him outside to his tree. Sparky went right to sleep. I made a sign and put it under the tree. Guard sloth, enter at your own peril. So there is a picture <laughs> of a sloth. It was two days, so a cold night, he's sleeping, a nice, a nice rainy day, he's sleeping, a nice morning when he's awake and she's carrying him. Before I saw him awake, he didn't know a lot of games, so I taught him some. We played King of the Mountain and I won. We played hide and seek, and I won. We played king. We played kung fu fighter, and I won. We played statue, and Sparky was very, very good. That weekend, Mary Potts came over to investigate. Let me show you what Mary Potts is like. This is a picture of her room. It says, excellence is per in permission slip compliance. Most likely to choose closed mouthed to closed mouthed in, in lunchroom. Best fire drill liner upper. Before she even took off her coat, Mary said, Let me see your new pet. I had some worries, but I took her out to Sparky's tree. He opened his eyes and looked at us. Look at her hair. Then he closed them again. I rubbed his belly, but it was too late. He st we stood there for a while, watching him sleep. His fur ruffled gently in the breeze. 
I feel sorry for you, Mary said. My cat, my cat can dance on her hind legs, and my parrot knows twenty words, including God and ice cream. Sparky knows tricks too. I told her, but she didn't believe me. The next day, I made a poster and nailed it to the tree outside Mary Potts' house. Train sloth extravaganza, countless tricks to mit mit mit. Countless tricks to mystify you. Just seven days away. All week we train. We train in secret. Sometimes Sparky slept through practice, and I had to poke him awake. Sometimes he forgot what he was doing, and we had to start over. Sometimes he took so long to fetch that I went inside and had dinner while I waited. I was starting to think the poster had been a mistake, but a promise is a promise. On the day of the trained sloth extravaganza, my mother set up lawn chairs. Three people came to see Sparky perform. To, to, to see Sparky perform, my mother, my mother Mary Potts, and Mrs. Edwin, the crossing guard. Miss Edwin approved of Sparky because he never ran in the street. Do I look like a ringmaster? I asked my mother. You look very interesting, she told me. I put a little glitter on Sparky just before the curtain went up. I kept wishing I had written two tricks on the poster instead of countless tricks. Play dead, Sparky! I said, and he did. Roll over, I said, and he didn't. Speak, I commanded. We all waited and waited. Speak, I said. Sparky looked at me. The only thing you could hear was the wind in the trees. He was a very he has a very pretty coat, doesn't he? Mrs. Edwin said finally. You can't just invent a brand new pet like that, Mary told me. A pet no one's ever even had. My mother came up with lemonade and cookies, but everyone said they had to be going. Sparky and I waited, watched them. Then my mother made me put the chairs away. Aww. Afterward, I gave Sparky a cookie, but he ate it so slowly that I had to, I that I took it back again. I, it was getting dark out. I looked at him, and he looked at me. You could hear all the neighbors' neighborhood dogs barking. I reached over and tagged him on his claw. "You're it, Sparky," I said. And for a long, long time, he was. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit of Jenny Offill and Chris Applehat. Oh, and I almost forgot the end. So, if you guys know this video, please do subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!